got a feeling that tonight's gonna be a good night and tomorrow's gonna be a good day when I take my hair down. Hey y'all, it's me Deja B and I'm back at it again with another video. Today I'm going to be retrying the flexi rod set. So as you can see, I have blow dried my hair. It has been moisturized with a leave-in and now I'm just going to separate my hair into those sections so that I can get into this. So this time I'm going to be using the Do Mousse Def Texture Foam. It says it's a high definition control mousse. Now usually, let's see what it says. It says what it do. Wash and goes, twist outs, rod sets, blowouts, conditions, defines, and shines in one step. No crunch, cut styling, and drying time in half. It says it has silk proteins that are hum humidity blocking and polymers that fight frizz. So, okay. So hopefully this will work with the leave-in that I used. I used the Mish Lavish Leave-In Conditioner. Um, this is a very moisturizing conditioner, almost too moisturizing, I think, for I'm thinking for a style like this, but I could be wrong. So I have 12 flexi rods. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to try and section my, my hair into 12 sections. Last time I only had 11 sections. It's fine if it's like that again. I just wanna make sure I don't have more than that. Okay, so I have a one, a two, a one, two, three, four. Anyway, I got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. 11 again. Guess my hair's not big enough. My hair is not thick enough for 12 because that's 11 two times in a row and not on purpose. Putting those away. And then I'm going to grab a brush to smooth the hair out gently. So I've actually never used this. I've had it for quite a while and I've been meaning to, but like I always say, I have so many freaking hair products. It's pretty ridiculous. So there it goes. Ooh. Oh, it's not too much. I think it might've been. Oopsie. Okay. So like I did before, I'm going to separate it into two sections. Try to get it as tight as I can. Gonna wrap it around. I'm probably gonna add a little bit more of the mousse just to make sure the ends stay down. And then I'm going to bend it. Now we're going to do the other one.
So yeah, you saw my technique. Fingers crossed, cross your fingers with me. Cross them, cross them, cross them, cross them. It's going to work. And if it don't work, then maybe I just don't have the flexi rod touch. I'm gonna just have to accept that. I'm gonna just have to accept it. But yeah, try to make sure all the ends were tucked. I think it's gonna be good. I got a feeling. I got a feeling that tonight's gonna be a good night. And tomorrow's gonna be a good day when I take my hair down. Hey guys, so as you can see, I did not finish the takedown. For one, um, a patch up here was still a little moist, so I just kind of left it hanging to let it dry and I blew a little bit of hot air on it. Some of it is starting to like unravel or whatever, but that's fine because it's still gonna be cute, I know. Um, so a few things I wanted to say. I went ahead, usually I'm the type of person that probably would leave something in for like a while, like a twist, bantu knots or something. But them flexi rods were so tight. Like when I woke up or it was like the middle of the night and my head was so in places that I didn't even realize it was that tight and it was just too much. So I just wanted to get them out of my head. <laughs> and I think... I don't know, I have to get used to using the mousse. Um, my hair in the back is more soft, and my hair in the back has a little more crunch, so I, I think I did get a little like happy in the front with putting the mousse on. So, it's definitely a little more crunchy, especially like up in here. But the back is not really like that. So, I just have to find a balance next time. So, see this section back here, I didn't put enough I don't feel like I put enough loose on it because it's really, it was loose, more loose than the rest. Even though I don't do it, I definitely would recommend you coiling your ends if they're like the way they just coil it, twirl it at the end when you take it down. It will make it look more neat and it probably, you probably don't risk your hair getting like matted or you know tangled or anything because it'll all be kind of uniform so i definitely think you should be better than me and do it but if you don't i will not blame you because i do not either and this still didn't come out exactly how i wanted it to but it's better <laughs> it's better than the last time way freaking better that was i don't know yeah I'm gonna try it. I I'm gonna still keep practicing. I'm gonna try it a few different ways. But I might try it on wet hair. I think I actually am gonna go get the lot of body. This is cool too. But I just gotta, I just gotta figure it out. It's gonna look like curly Sue. I definitely could have achieved this look with Bantu knot outs. Bantu knots. I did not need flexi rods. This is not really, like I said, this is not really the look I was going for though. Yeah, y'all already know what I'm about to do to stretch this because I don't want to be like doing a whole lot of picking and making it super crazy. So I'm going to stretch this with a blow dryer because this ain't going to cut it.
So there are a few things that I know for a fact contributed to my hair coming out differently than I expected. Of course, I still have to work on my technique, but it's getting like improved definitely with this product. Um, I definitely, when I blow dry my hair to stretch it, I definitely realized that the leave-in I used, the Niche Beauty leave-in, I put too much of it. This is like really moisturizing and my hair, it was just it was just too it was just too moist okay like moist for a wash and go or a twist out or something like that not 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 too much of a problem but when you're trying to stretch your hair you don't want to have a whole bunch of product on it because you're not going to get your hair as straight with the blow dryer as you probably wanted to and my hair was like not trying to get it straight as i wanted it to so that was one thing that was uh, too much leave-in. And then the technique is still a little bit off. It's getting better though. And I just was inconsistent with how much boost I was putting in certain places. Like I definitely was trying to put more in the areas that had more hair, but, but it's still cute though. Stretched it out a little bit. It really looks like, I'm gonna tag it. The Bantu knots that I did like early last year, it looks like that. Like I really could have did this with Bantu knots. This back part is is not. It's probably probably I don't know. Maybe it wasn't all the way dry either. But I just know this part wasn't all the way dry. I don't think I put enough mousse to match the rest of the energy of the rest of my hair on that part. So it's like the curls are not as defined. So yeah, this might not last me. I'm probably gonna wash my hair in about two days. Honestly. Overall, like this part might last longer, but this is not. So I, I want I like my hair to be uniform. I'm very particular about it. This is what my hair is looking like. It's actually pretty cute. I do like it. It's not what I wanted it to be, but that doesn't mean I don't like it. Yeah, so stay tuned for different videos, you guys. I'm going to be doing different things and I'm super excited to show you guys more of what I know to do. All right guys, let me know what you think of this hairstyle and how my hair came out down in the comment section down below. And thank you for watching. I will see you guys in my next video. Peace.